we're just going to talk about it real fast, right? So you have a lightning bolt that come and splits the atmosphere, turning into N2. As it combines with water, it turns into nitric acid. As the nitric acid falls down, the bacteria is turned to ammonia. But before this ammonia process, you need iron, sulfur, and molybdenum. What's interesting though is that the sulfur and the iron are the fungi responsibilities. So if the fungus gnats are eating the fungi, the deficiency is going to show up in a sulfur and iron deficiency. This is why these deficiencies actually look very similar. This one's the sulfur right here, and this one's an iron, as you can see the deficiency right here on the tips. Specifically, ferrodoxins are the iron sulfur protein. And when you don't have fungi, because obviously the fungus gnats are eating it, or the larvae specifically, there's not going to be sulfur availability. And obviously, you're going to be seeing it in a, once again, an iron and a sulfur deficiency.